Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off a brand new vlog right here. Not really sure how entertaining this is going to be, but I'm here with Renee and Cam. Are you, are you okay? You know my vlog? All right. <laughs> they barely can see you there because it's dark. So we're here with Renee. You can barely see her, but Renee's here and I'm here with Cam. So today's basically just gonna be another Today we're gonna make some dinner, some snacks, some more drinks, and um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. Um, let me just go to the kitchen for a second. So right now we're making the black bean dip with corn. I, we showed it in the, actually we showed it on live the last time. We didn't really show it on, on here, but we're gonna show you how to make that just so you guys can have some cooking stuff. They like to see when we cook stuff, so. We're, and we didn't show them the tea, um, the fish tea, the finished product, so they were a little bit upset, I'm sorry. We just started to drink and we just got hungrier and hungrier and we just forgot, I'm just gonna be honest. So, <laughs> but you guys have seen me make it several times before, so. I will link the vlog that I made it in below so you guys can go check it out. But um, for the black bean corn dip, let me turn the camera around. <laughs> so basically, you're gonna need the Goya whole kernel golden corn. So that's what you're gonna need. And then you're gonna need the black beans um, of your choice. Then, then you're gonna need some cilantro and we're gonna use about this many and just basically slice it up. Just so you guys know, this is Renee's recipe. After the lime, you're gonna need some feta cheese and salt and pepper to taste all up to you. And um, let's go over to the So stuff. basically, we pan grilled the corn, so it has like a, I don't know, like a grilled kind of taste. It just makes it a little bit more tasty, I think. Yeah? Yeah, but that's optional. Yeah. All right, so basically I'm just gonna slice up the cilantro a little bit. You could just break it apart, but I obviously hate when I, I hate when I'm like having a big chunk of cilantro, so. In my mouth. So, you don't do too much stuff, right? Mm -mm. Then just like slice it up. It doesn't really matter. Alrighty, so now we have the corn. It's gonna add it to the black bean. You wanna show the bowl? So that's basically what it's gonna look like. It's focusing. Yeah, it's focused. Okay, so just gonna mix it together. It looks so pretty. So what do I do next, Renee? You can add the cilantro, okay? Okay, cilantro has been added. Just gonna give this a little stir. One second, guys. I have to update Instagram. So, That's all right. Weird. Now that we've added the cilantro and everything, right? Feta cheese or lime? Or Feta, just... I'd be doing the lime last. But... You right. can do the lime now, actually. So it's easier to mix. Okay. So we're going to, how many wedges? Just to taste. So, like, I usually will do two, taste. Do I have to? What? Do I have to taste? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> alright guys, just gonna add the little feta cheese on... Is that alright? Like, more? I mean, I add it, stir it, and then like look at the proportion. I mean, I like feta cheese, so... Hmm. I mean, I feel like you should have probably seen first. <laughs> but then again, it probably will work because I normally don't do the whole corn whole bean. Oh, okay. I feel like you always use a... Do you like a half serve? Yeah. Spin of this. All right. So now, are are we good in frame? All right. All right. Look at this. Then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna have Renee try it to see if she approves. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Renee likes it, so that's great. So basically you eat this with tortilla chips. And we have these ones here from Trader Joe's. It's the corn, white corn tortilla chips and basically you just kind of, um, and you just dip it and you know. So we're gonna make a little cocktail to go with our dip. So, um, yeah, we're gonna make some margaritas, right? Yeah. Um, ingredients is strawberry daiquiri margarita mix, Casamigos, triple sec, lime, extra ice if you need. Amigos. Some triple sec. Can it be fizzy? Um, no, I, right? I don't know. Like, I do have club soda, but. No. steaks in I've already put a little bit of seasoning on them um I don't have the usual stuff that I typically use and I obviously don't want Renee to like buy anything for it because she what really she, don't be eating what did you need what did you need I could get it <laughs> what did you no need? you don't need to. <laughs> it's fine where is the steak sauce cam all right it's fine you know you call it one thing right yeah no, I just, oh yeah. so I'm just gonna so have to put some dry seasonings Alright. Alright guys, I have you guys over here in the paper towel. Alright. Whatever. Okay. So I'm a cook. These are the steaks and um Alright. The dry seasonings I use are garlic powder. Then we use some Mrs. Dash original blend. Um that. Salt free. And then onion powder. There we go. Onion powder. Alright. Alright guys, so steak is on the stove. Um, we're gonna make them medium because Renee and I kind of like a little bit of blood. <laughs> then we're gonna make we make some shrimp for Cam. Um, he's really picky, so this is kind of like a soy sauce scallion, a little bit of general chozo sauce and some spice um, to kind of give him a little bit, you know. Then we're gonna make some yellow rice, Spanish rice. And then if you guys are gonna wonder what who Cam is, oh. Cam is just like a friend. <laughs> but like, you know those those guys that you can have around you and just like vibe with. I just met him too, so you know. <laughs> but he's cool people. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, um, the steaks are pretty much done. This is what they look like. I'm gonna start the shrimp now. Then I'm gonna make a little glaze for the steak. Just something like pour. Just kinda make it a little bit more juicy. All right, so here's the shrimp. Um, we're gonna kind of, kind of make it like a, I don't know, like fake ibachi style. <laughs> <laughs> All right, camera woman, why are you so close? I just wanted to get the angles. So Rachel right here reporting. It's a little bit up. <laughs> Just flipping them a little bit. I hate overcooked shrimp. So once they turn to a C shape, they're gonna come out. I'm just gonna cook a few of them on the other side. Hey guys, good morning. So today is Monday, yeah, we are approaching week two of this whole no work, no quarantine thing, all of that. I'm st still here with Renee, obviously. I'm not in in my own space, but um, yeah, I've been here and I probably will be leaving today or tomorrow, I'm not really sure yet. Um, I came here to shoot a whole bunch of content, especially because Tiff's room is just like so like aesthetically pleasing and she's also out of town so and I also asked her permission so yeah but right now making some breakfast Renee just jumped on a conference call for like her job so um I'm making her some breakfast and I so I'm making like hash browns and like eggs and stuff so I am talking in in here because I don't want to interrupt her but I'm gonna bring you guys into the kitchen right now so you guys can see what I'm doing So over here just have some onions, jalapenos, and peppers. And this is gonna be sauteed so it can go on top of that. So basically I just combined the, um, the jalapenos and the peppers in the hash browns to kind of make it like, you know, seasoned and everything. It's gonna be so good. Just gonna mix it in so it's evenly distributed. I'm gonna make a little omelet instead. So. Why would I ever eye come on camera? I think you should get married late. Rowdy. <laughs> rowdy. <laughs> Good little spinach omelette. <laughs> okay. So now that we have that turn, I'm gonna grab some cheddar, some cheddar cheese right there. Just like a little, a little dash more, you know. I feel like that's fair. Can never be too cheesy. Put that really nice and in there. I'm gonna flip it, because I feel like that size is looking yeah, a little bit raw. looking a little raw there. Yeah. Then, that's pretty much it, you guys. Cute little omeletta. There are little waffles and strawberries good all right guys and also my battery light is flashing so we're gonna eat breakfast and i'll touch base with you guys later um yeah not much going on because it's raining but talk to you guys later how was breakfast so all right breakfast was great now it's time to clean up and um yeah it's raining outside let me show you guys Just gonna clean up then start editing this vlog um then i'm gonna start a new one it's just gonna be vlogs to be honest so let's do it